Hello, welcome. This is the Pen Pal family. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Seasons come, seasons go. <laughs> so I just wanted to um, lighten up the, the mood of the channel by reacting to our first ever comedy you know just you know laughter is medicine for the soul so this is titled um bill bore motherhood isn't the hardest job so disclaimer i don't know how i react in a comedy let's see if mr bill bill bore can make us laugh <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm going to argue with my girlfriend, right? She likes watching the Oprah Winfrey show, and I love to watch her watch the Oprah show. And then I wait for Oprah to say something that I don't agree with, and then I take it out on my girlfriend because I'm an asshole. <laughs> so, Oprah brings out this guest. She gives her this huge intro. She's been on this, she's been on that, and she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's the mother. So, immediately I look at my girlfriend. I'm like, really? Being a mom is the most difficult job on the planet. How many mothers died on ice road truckers last season? Uh, <laughs> Any moms get washed overboard on deadliest catch? I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but what would you rather have as a job? You want to scoop scallops off the bottom of the ocean, catching that lobster trap to the back of your head? Or do you want to hang in the sunshine with a couple of rugrats? You can send him to bed anytime you want and some trumped up charges because you want to have a drink and watch the prices, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe yes, this is the most are. difficult job. I mean, I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead, you know? I thought that that was a difficult job. I really did. I thought it was difficult. But well, evidently, evidently, these mothers, they're bending over at the waist, putting DVDs in the DVDs. <laughs> you gotta wash i'll lift with your knees and put it in that machine that does it for you dude any job you can do in your pajamas is not difficult it isn't i'm sure it's get out of hell with these oh, the man of the ones clapping of course watching cartoons taking naps <laughs> look i'm messing around but you know come on I know it's a difficult job, but the most difficult job on the whole planet. That's what? Remember when Saddam let the oil fields on fire and those poor bastards had to go put them out? 4,000 degrees, walking in with your little asbestos shield, just walking in the flames. He's smart. You want to do that or watch Bob the Builder again? I mean, be honest with yourself. I see the women are not clapping. <laughs> I got a dog recently. I did. I went down to the pound. I got one of those free dogs. Free dogs. Yeah, that's how I say it. I don't say I rescued a dog. Oh, goodness. I hate when people say that. It's like totally obnoxious. It's complete exaggeration. No She's filter. a rescue. Yeah, I rescued her. Really? Did you pull her out of a burning building? <laughs> did you jump oh, in a river goodness. with your clothes still on with no concern for your own safety? <laughs> or did you just go down to the pound and get a free dog? Isn't that what you did? It's a rescue. It's like you had to take out a couple of guards crawl in on your elbows using hand signals oh my gosh he's brave they don't even go down to the pound and they're just giving him away <sighs> they don't even do a background check you want him hey get out of here <laughs> that was actually on? funny you got a perm. it'll be hilarious <laughs> Woo, my actually cheeks. my uh, my girlfriend got the dog when i was uh when i was on the road i was on the road she got the dog classic girlfriend move right that's just a 10 to 15 year commitment. Why would you include me in that decision? What would I need to know? So we're Skyping. I thought she got one of those little shit dogs, you know, like a Yorkshire Terrier or something. You could punt across the room if it got out of line, right? <laughs> something you could take your day out on. You know what I'm saying? And uh... <laughs> so we're Skyping. I go, let me see it. So she pans around. And I think I'm going to see, you know, some little, little... Chihuahua, whatever the hell Chihuahua. those dogs are. <laughs> I'm immediately staring at like this hellhound. 
this just massive dog and it looks i start freaking out i'm like is that a pit bull <laughs> please tell me you didn't get a pit bull she's like it's not a pit bull oh, it's a it? mix it's a mix a of mix what? Of what another pit bull look at that thing <laughs> Oh lord, and these kids are so imaginative. What more do you need to see? Oh, it gets worse. What? Her and a friend actually didn't get it down at the pound. They found it by the Los Angeles River. Ooh. They yeah, rescued the themselves. She said they're going, it was out there for 10 days. Don't you think that's sad? Oh, what? No, it's scary. Because yes. judging by its physique, it got plenty of protein over the last week and a half. Oh, Lord. What, did, what were they eating? It wasn't eating nuts and berries, all right? It was choking out joggers. It was twisting heads off oh. of rabbits. You brought a murderer into the house. Don't you just rescue an alligator while you're at it. Stick it oh. out of the bed. Add to the excitement. <laughs> you know what's great, though? I fell in love with the dog. For real? Absolutely love this dog, and I'm no. totally sold on the breed. And I know a lot of people don't like pit bulls because they ate a couple of kids. Oh. I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you owe it to yourself at some point in your life to walk down the street with a pit bull. Oh, no. You gotta do it. It's tremendous. People just get out of the way. Mm. Three, four blocks away, they see me coming. They immediately start crossing the street. I love it. I feel like a king. I don't know why black people complain about that. I love having the whole side of the street to myself. It's awesome. Yeah. What? <laughs> black people have no idea how difficult it is as a white man to have to walk down the street every half a block, have frivolous conversations about the weather. Oh, I'm mad thinking it's going to rain. Why? Why do we have to have this conversation? Why? Tell no, me. No, it's tremendous. I like the respect. Look at me. My whole life I've looked like Ron Howard. You realize that? My whole life I've been mugged repeatedly. I've wow. never had any street cred whatsoever. Street cred. The second they see this four-legged P90X body coming down the street, that's it. It's the best dog that on the planet. The, you gotta get a pit bull, I'm telling you, man. It's like a gun you can pet. What? A gun you can pet? Two of them pet? come down to you, just strapped. All of a sudden, there's no line at the ATM. You lay, it's just the whole world opens up for you. All right, let's wrap this up here. I, uh, I had lunch the other day. Uh, I'm a big time conspiracy theorist. I drive my girlfriend nuts. You know, I think they're about ready to microchip all of us. Yeah, they got this commercial down in the States. You know, they, you got that commercial up here for Duracell batteries. They're selling batteries and the commercial is some woman can't find her kid in the park. Oh, wow. That's how they're selling batteries. The hell kind of way is that to sell batteries? Do you remember the old commercials? They just show some guy in a rainstorm, has a flat, pulls out a flashlight. Oh, thank God he had Duracell. You can see how wet I'm getting. That was it. Now they're showing this woman she can't find her kid in the park. She's sitting there going, Kevin? Kevin? Has anybody seen Kevin? Sitting there freaking out. Then she pulls out this little device. Beep, 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 beep. And there comes Kevin running out of the woods. And they're like, Duracell batteries. It's like, dude, the hell with the batteries? What was that thing she just took out of her pocket? <laughs> How did Kevin know to come out of the woods? Oh, Lord. He didn't have an antenna. His sneakers weren't glowing. <laughs> what the hell is in Kevin that's connected to that device? Don't you show me that like that's normal. Oh, yeah, robot kids. Yeah, let's go see mommy. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much. Billboard. Billboard. Motherhood isn't the hardest job. That was so funny. I wonder what women actually think. Like, honestly, I see what he's saying. Like, especially when he compares it to something so crazy. But just the way he tells his story. <laughs> like, I didn't really expect to come into laughter. Like, I know it's a comedy, but like, I didn't really think he would make me laugh. I was kind of like a skeptic. Like, oh, this title, you know. But I found it really funny. And um, the dog illustrations. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm still getting over my fear of dogs. So when he was talking about, like, pit bulls and stuff, I was like, oh. And then the stories were very relatable in, in a crazy way, you know. Uh, his jokes always this, like, you know, like, ah. <laughs>
hell is like like you don't even know when you laugh so he's really good very um creative um storyteller so that was really fun i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know like if you enjoyed this watching this comedy with me let me know if something else you want me to see um let's you know explore your world together and yeah let me know like your liners like what line stood out to you what was so outrageous about what he said what was so relatable about what he said so if you're a mother if you're a mother well how did you feel about this video if you're a dad were you like you so yeah tell me tell me i want to know what y'all thought about this video but yeah if he made me laugh he made me laugh so definitely worth it yes all right i'll catch you in my next video. Love you guys.